Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make 100K a year in passive income. All right, so I've got three points I wanna make. One, it's easier than you think. Two, it's bite-sized pieces, you know, how to eat an elephant, and three, how to manage your time and get this all done. First, I wanna to talk to you about passive income. What in the world is it? This is like a loosely thrown around term everyone's using. I wanna tell you what Brent Bowers' definition of passive income. Passive income comes into my bank account every single month, whether I get out of bed or not, whether I'm playing all day with my children or not, whether I'm working or not, or whether we're traveling the world, you know, that is passive income. You know, I love being in land, you know, that is my strategy. Everyone knows me as a land man, but I love seeing, like I was on a plane coming here to film this. I love seeing 10 or 12 emails of $300 a month coming to my bank account. $400, 579, 538. These are what I call passive income chunks of money coming into my account, sometimes 10 times in one day. And I'm not here bragging about it. I'm just giving you a definition of what passive income is. And it starts by just taking the action steps every single day to do it. All right, so it's easier than you think. You know, when I look at a task, I look at how do I backwards plan into this? How do I get it all done? So for instance, if I want to do, say for instance, 20 videos in 20 days, I need to do one video a day. Let's break it, let's go back to our 100K a year in passive income. So $100,000 a year, if you break that down into a monthly, a weekly, a daily, a hourly, and then a minute, it's not as bad. It's kind of like, how in the world do you eat an elephant? It's one bite at a time. You start with the tail, and then you go to one of the legs. You know, it's manageable chunks. You might think, well, this has nothing to do with eating an elephant. I want to make $100,000 a year. If you broke it down into 12 months, that is actually $8,333 per month because that was the goal I was trying to reach to get out of the military. I was so tired of being in the military, so tired of being away from home, so tired of training, so tired of deploying and never seeing my family. I had a goal of $8,333 per month and passive income, and that would allow me to get out, you know, to get rid of that carrot that they put in the horse that keeps you moving forward. That $8,333 a month was crucial to my life. Now let's break it down into weekly chunk. I like to call them fun size bites. You know, Snickers did pretty well with this. Milky Way did pretty well with this. Twix and Kit Kat, some of my favorite treats are in bite-sized pieces, but I love that they're bite-sized because then I eat like 10 or 15 of them, and it's actually probably more than what the actual huge Kit Kat bar would be, but it's way more fun with the bite size. So let's talk about weekly. That would be $1,923 per week, 1923. Isn't that a little bit more manageable than thinking of a $100,000 goal? You know, we think of that huge, like hairy, audacious, massive goal. Let's break it down into easier, you know, chunks. It's actually, all things are easier than what we think they are. It's kind of like, you know, walking 10 miles. It all starts with that first step and then you just got to keep walking. <laughs> Let's talk about daily. That's $297.61 per day. $297.61. Let's talk about a piece of land. My average land note's about $601, but some of my first land deals were about $300 a month, $400 a month. That $297 is totally doable. I just have to have roughly 30 parcels of land at $297. You know, if we're looking at a 30 day month. So break it up into an actual daily amount, which is $297 a day. So we talked about daily. What about hours? There's 24 hours in a day. You know, we gotta sleep six to eight of those hours. But here's the thing, if we'd make $11.41 an hour, that's 100K per year in passive income, $11.41 per hour. So the national average for minimum wage is more than that in some areas, you know, is more than $11.41 per hour. So if you can make more than minimum wage, you can make $100,000 or a year or 100K per year in passive income, breaking it down. All right, so I was proud to say I make $601 average per land deal sold. You know, we make on average $601 for each one of our land notes. Now, not all of them, some are like $1,000 a month, some are like $100 a month, but we average the $601. We have over 100 notes, but here's what's really cool about that. To make 100K per year in passive income, we just have to be at 14 land deals paying us $601 a month. That is 100K per year passive income coming into my bank account 
on 14 land deals. Let's just say that I'm super slow. I only do one land deal a month. Yes, that's one land deal a month. That's gonna take me 14 months to get there. And you might be thinking, well, what if they pay off in five years or 10 years or 30 years? Okay, we can keep doing one each month for the rest of our lives. You know, Let's just say it takes me a week and a half to do that. Well, that gives me a few more weeks to take off on vacation or spend time with my family or coach my son's soccer team. That is what's so cool about making 100K per year in passive income because it's passive. The money goes into my account. I'm not working a 40 hour a week job digging ditches to earn this money. The wheels have been turned, you know, the work has been done and we're paid for the next five to seven years. That's like my top two reasons why I love the land. It's like financial freedom and time freedom. Time freedom is more valuable to me than financial freedom and then passive income gives me time freedom. And hey, my avenue is land. Yours could be house rentals. Yours could be Airbnbs. Yours could be house flipping. Or you might sell bicycles and allow financing. You know, this works with any model. My choice was just land. You know, I chose land because there's so much of it. There's so many people willing to give you a piece of land at a massive discount. And there's so many people willing to buy it for premium and retail prices if you offer the land and the financing and the easy down payment. That's just my choice. There's so many other ways you can pick for yourself. You know, comment below if this is helping you at all, or maybe you totally disagree with me, you know, like this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Comment that too. I love it. I'll probably reply with, I love you. If you reply anything negative, but if you reply positive things, I love that too. So go ahead, comment below. You might be watching this and thinking, Brent, why would I need to make hundred K per year in passive income? Or like, I already have a job that pays me $120,000 a year. You know, why would I need that? So I want to bring something to your thoughts here. Let's just say you get sick or something happens or you break your leg and you no longer can make that $120,000 a year. If you set this up and you already have passive income coming in, it, maybe it's only $50,000 a year. You have that extra buffer. You're making the 120 over here and you're making the extra 50 over here, or you're making the 120 over here for your 40 hour a week job and you're making the extra 100 over here. Well, that's now $220,000 a year additional and you're not working 40 hours a week doing the land. I wanna break it down to you how easy you can do this. I talked about my average land payment is $601 a month. I looked it up, it takes my team roughly eight hours from beginning to end to do a land deal, eight hours. So eight hours of their time, that's not eight hours of my time, that's why it's truly passive from the time that we send the letter out, the time that we speak to negotiate with the seller, the time that we get the photos of the property that a photographer goes out and does, and from the time we post it on all of our mediums and all of our sites, and then the bookkeeper's time, you know, putting in the note, it's roughly eight hours of other people's times. So I want you to stop thinking about your $120,000 a year that you gotta trade 40 hours of your life per week you know, 50 weeks out of the year and get that two week vacation. I want you to start thinking, trading time for money and stop thinking that and trading passive income, efforts that you put in one time that's gonna reduce, basically give you money for a lifetime. So if you look at it, here's a practical way to do it. If you look at everything you do that you earn $500 an hour, you will hire out the rest as long as it's less than $500 an hour. So let's just say that you hire a team for $25 an hour. This team member is you know, selling this land, posting this land, hiring photographers, and you pay that person $25 an hour, but you're making $500 an hour, you would much rather hire that person for $25 an hour when you're making $500 an hour because you're losing money if you don't have someone else doing that job for you. So think about that as a business owner and think about the passive income side. I'm not saying quit the job over here that's making you $120,000 a year. I'm saying have an additional stream of income that makes you 100K per year in passive income because that job that makes you $120,000 a year or, or maybe you know it's, it's an even higher paying job, it could disappear one day. And you have this 100K over here, which is no you know small chunk of money but it will help you get those through those times. It's way easier to find another job when you already have a job or another income when you already have an income. So you have the 100K a year in passive income and that one for the $120,000 goes away or the, the high paying job for $200,000 a year goes away. 
it's way easier to find another sweet paying job when you have the income over here taking care of the expenses, taking care of the light bill, the water bill, the food, your housing, because then you're not so stressed to go out and just choose the first job that presents this opportunity to you. You can be willing to kind of be, you know, waiting, looking for the best options. So you wanna have options. That 100K per year in passive income gives you options. It reduces the stress and hey, maybe you hate your job and you wanna just keep working on that passive income. You know, let's talk about more about hating your job. I come across so many people that absolutely hate what they're doing for a living. They hate the people they work with. They hate the commute. They hate working from home, you name it. Or they hate their boss, hopefully that's not the case. But you know, you start generating 100K a year in passive income. Yes, 100K a month is definitely possible too. 100K additional income and passive income each year you can quit that job. Or maybe your wife wants to quit their job or your husband wants to quit their job. You know, it's amazing providing this extra passive income where your spouse can quit their job and then do the things that fulfill them and make them happier. Maybe spend more time with the kids, you name it. So an additional 100K per year in passive income is totally life-changing. All right, if you're interested in figuring out how to implement all these things and making an extra $100,000 a year in passive income and just want to kind of figure out where in the world do you even start or who would help me with all this, I would be happy to hold your hand through the entire process. If you're interested in learning more, head over to landsharks.com.